5G, inhaling steam and fake vaccines. Here are the latest dodgy claims about coronavirus that are spreading fast online. Claim number one, 5G mobile networks transmit coronavirus. Well, 5G was a favourite target of conspiracy theorists long before the new coronavirus appeared, and now the myths have just been tweaked a bit. Some claim 5G can suppress the immune system, others that the mobile technology somehow transmits the virus. For the avoidance of doubt, scientists have told the BBC that both claims are absolute rubbish. 5G radio waves are nowhere near strong enough to affect immunity, and the idea that the technology can transmit the virus is biologically impossible. Claim number two, steam inhalation can cure coronavirus. A social media post about a doctor who allegedly recovered from COVID-19 after inhaling steam has been widely shared. Now, people do inhale steam to deal with things like a blocked nose, but there's no evidence that it works as a treatment for coronavirus. High temperature steam cleaning of surfaces is used to kill viruses in places like hospitals. But any attempt to inhale industrial steam that hot would be incredibly dangerous. Claim number three, skin colour can protect you from COVID-19. There have been persistent suggestions on social media about skin colour and the resistance it might give you to falling ill with COVID-19. There have been rumours in Africa that people with black skin can't catch coronavirus, but it just isn't true. Medical professionals are adamant that skin colour makes no difference and black people have been catching the virus and dying from it. Claim number four, vaccines to combat COVID-19 are already available. No, they aren't. Loads of scientists are working on a vaccine, but it will take a long time to develop, test and distribute one. At the moment, there is no vaccine to prevent COVID-19. And the World Health Organization says products claiming to be a vaccine, often found on unregulated websites, should be considered fake. And they may pose a significant risk to public health. So beware claims that offer quick fixes or remedies for coronavirus. Many of them are probably too good to be true. And think twice before you share them.